Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Um, our presenter today is Sandeep, who is located in our Cincinnati office. And a little bit about Sandeep, he is an, an application engineer with extensive experience in Team Center, building creative solutions and providing superior technical support for customers. So welcome Sandeep, the Tech Talk is now yours. Please, thank you, Andrea. Hello, all. Uh, I'm Sandeep Bulapalli. Welcome to today's Tech Talk about Team Center Share. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandeep Bulapalli, and I'm one of the Team Center expert here at Prolim. Welcome to today's Tech Talk. I'm excited to discuss on how we can enhance collaboration and data management using Team Center Share. So the agenda will be covering several key aspects of Team Center Share. We will start with an introduction to Team Center Share, giving you a clear understanding of what it is and how it can be used effectively. Next, we will dive into the admin console setup and how to manage users efficiently. We will then look at how to create projects, assign tasks, and visualize data within Team Center Share. After that, we will explore how to work offline and synchronize files using the connector application. And at the end, we will wrap up by discussing various benefits of Team Center Share. Team Center Share is a cloud-based collaboration platform which everyone can access through a web browser or a mobile device, enabling users to share and work on design engineering products with others in real time. Team Center Share provides a secure and flexible way to collaborate on projects, allowing users to share files, track changes, and manage tasks. It also offers features such as 3D view, markup, file sharing, and instant access on any device. It integrates with other Siemens products like Team Center, Solid Edge, Annex, Sim Center, and so on. The admin console allows administrators to manage and configure Team Center Share. The main feature of Admin Console include user management, security settings, system monitoring. I will show you how administrators can create, edit user accounts as well as assign roles and permissions to control access to Team Center Share. Team Center Share offers a complete solution for managing projects efficiently. It allows you to easily create projects, assign tasks to team members, and visualize data in a meaningful way. This helps us stay on top of what needs to be done, ensures that everyone knows their responsibilities, and gives us clear insights into how our projects are progressing. I will show you in detail about project creation, task management, and visualization tools inside Team Center Share. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about file synchronization and the connector application in Team Center Share. The connector application plays a key role in keeping files synchronized between cloud storage and your local system. Essentially, it allows you to select a folder on your computer called the connector folder, where all your files will automatically stay in sync with the cloud. This means you can always access the latest version of your documents, whether you are online or offline. The integration with Windows File Explorer also makes it very convenient. When you open the connector folder, you will see additional details like custom icons, metadata right there in Explorer. This allows you to manage the files efficiently just as the files in your local while ensuring all updates are shared within your team in real time. Once Team Center Share has been added to your organization license or if you have a license of SaaS type, the designated point of contact will receive an email to set up the Team Center Share admin console. There is a dedicated URL for Team Center Share admin console and a separate URL for Team Center Share. Please log in with your Siemens credentials. Now we are on the Team Center Share admin console page. Here we can see a list of all products purchased by the organization. At this point, I only have one product listed. When you select this product, it gives you an overview like the consumed memory out of the allocated memory, 
the expiration date and the region etc now let's see how to add a users to this product so this shows me a list of users who are already being assigned and it also gives me an ability to add a user so let's click assign users and provide the relevant email address and assign the role so this will now send a mail to the relevant person and inform the user about their access to team center share members shown as pending until they do their first sign in now let's see how to create another admin click the admin icon and it gives you an ability to create a new admin provide the relevant fields so the user receives an email granting access to the team center share admin console enabling them to add users and managing their roles this allows for efficient setup and user management the admin console also includes specific tools like product configurator identity providers bulk import which help in managing product settings improving data efficiency and configuring user authentication now let's jump to team center share once a user has been assigned they will receive an email notifying them of their access to team center share they can log in using their siemens credentials now we are on the team center share home page which provides an interactive dashboarding it also gives you an access to all the projects and the tasks that has been assigned let's create a new project by filling all the relevant fields it also sets a due date assigned with the project and say create the project has been created and we can start uploading files directly or create subfolders to organize and upload files accordingly we also have an option to set the thumbnail which helps to represent the project more clearly select the component or the assembly that you want to set it as the thumbnail and say set as thumbnail this will now change your project thumbnail as well now let's see how to share the project and adding users to this specific project click on the share button which displays the users who already added to this project here you can set the access level or even stop sharing the project with the specified users click add users this will list all the assigned users in the product you can select multiple users and also have an ability to deselect the users if needed we have the option to share this project with users who don't have access to team center share in this case their access will be restricted solely to this project preventing them from doing other tasks like creating a new project you can include any external email addresses as well team center share allows you to set access levels review download review owner or full access controlling how users can interact with the data once you are ready clicking share now will send an email notification about the project to the assigned users now let's look at how to assign a task to a user navigate to the task section and click create task here you will need to enter the relevant fields set the priority specify the due date and select the status next select the users you want to assign the task to and then click create task this action will send a notification to the assigned user and the task will also be displayed in the interactive dashboard for easy tracking so far we have covered how to create projects assign users to those projects and delegate tasks to users now let's explore how visualization is integrated into team center share let's start by selecting the assembly which you want to view in visualization and clicking on the markup button will open the assembly in a 3d view now i have an ability to rotate zoom in zoom out allowing me to thoroughly explore the assembly in the view section there are multiple options available such as cut plane x cut plane y by applying a cut to the assembly i can view the internal parts clearly similarly i can explore other cut planes y z to get different perspectives next i can make precise measurements using the point to point measurement tool for example i can select two points and it will display the measurement between those two points additionally i can change the units from inches to millimeters or centimeters or meters as well 
It gives you a flexibility depending on the requirements. It also gives you an ability to delete the measurements which I have created. Team Center Share also gives you an option to create markups on the assembly. It may be a freehand circle, rectangle, or even a text. In this case, I'm going for a circle and place it on the assembly. Adjust the markup and save with the relevant name. Once created, you can view the markup under navigation section. There is another option called product structure, which allows you to expand the assembly and gives you an ability to hide or unhide the internal parts of the assembly, make it easier to focus on specific areas. In this way, visualization is enhanced within Team Center Share through a range of specific tool sets. These tools allow users for better interaction and detailed analysis of 3D models, which enables users to get deeper insights. The next thing that I will be demonstrating is the connector application. Connector is a file synchronization tool that integrates Teams into share content with your computer. Click the installed desktop connector which downloads an executable file, run the exe and restart your computer. As soon as you restart your computer, connector starts automatically and opens the default browser for login. Login using your Teams into share credentials. Connector service runs in the background and appears in the notification area of your computer. It automatically synchronizes files with the cloud storage. This connector application creates home and project folders that are designated for synchronization in your local system. Open folder starts Windows File Explorer and opens the connector folder. View online opens the Teams and to share using default web browser. Go offline is used for pausing the file synchronization. When you are offline, it gives you an option called sync pending. This appears when the connector application is working offline. It lets you synchronize when automatic synchronization is paused. Go online is used for resuming the file synchronization. Sync now appears when the connector application is working online. It gives you an ability to synchronize files and folders instantly. Settings lets you configure the connector application. It will give you an option to select or deselect the projects to synchronize. Now let's open the files in a CAD application, make some modifications and see how this synchronizes the modifications into the Teams into share. Let's navigate to the assembly. And we'll open this file in a CAD tool called Annex. And we will modify and see how this synchronizes with Team Center Shape. Now let's save this part and this connector application started synchronizing with Teams into share and the changes has been reflected into Teams into share. Similarly, we modify some solid edge files, open the assembly in solid edge make some changes and save it to the local system. Connector synchronizes to the Teams and Share and now we see the changes into Teams and Share. Let's discuss a use case scenario where Teams and Share integrates with Teams and Active Workspace and Solid Edge and let's see how this helps in concurrent design process. Integrating Teams and Share with Teams Center requires a deployment on the server using Teams Center Share client ID and client secret values. Solid Edge gets the ability to use embedded features in Solid Edge when you have the SaaS license. Once Teams Center Share is integrated with Teams Center, we can send the part directly from Teams Center to Teams Center Share either by creating a new project or by using an existing project. The project owner now create markups, sections, 
and maybe a text regarding the design change in team center share and let's say the owner creates a task to the manufacturer or a designer to implement the change once the task is created the designer or the manufacturer get a mail notification about the design change request from team center share the designer can now open the part directly from the cloud storage inside the solid edge and then make the necessary design changes saves back to team center share with the embedded team center share inside solid edge the designer can access team center share inside solid edge and mark the task as complete this now sends a mail notification to the owner who created the task and the owner can see the changes in team center share before updating it in the team center team center provides an option to replace the components with team center share integration team center gives you an ability to import parts from team center share not only just cad components but also general documents like pdf and word as well from the benefit standpoint first it provides secure cloud storage in the cloud meaning your files are kept safe and you can control who can access them with real time collaboration multiple people can work on a project together at the same time which makes teamwork more efficient it allows you to view and interact with 3d models which is really handy for design work plus with the offline access feature you can still work on the files even without an internet connection and your changes will update automatically when you are back online the tool is flexible and can grow with your needs whether you are working on a small or larger project you can have control over sharing so you can make sure only the right people have access to your projects and you can access everything from any device whether you are on your computer tablet or phone so you can work from anywhere i hope you all enjoyed my presentation thank you for being here today